What is up, y'all? Got a little stuffy. I'm cleaning the garage. It's a disaster right now, and I'm trying to get a workout in. Um, wanted to come on here and uh, say a little something. Uh, so I had just measured myself like my arms and I had just measured myself like my arms was not happy uh, the last time really Fucking mosquitoes. Last time I measured myself, I was. This is gonna fucking piss me off. I don't know what is going on with my gorilla, but I paid 50 bucks for this fucking thing. I was 215 pounds, what was the last time I measured myself? Um. Measure myself today, <clears throat> and I was measure my biceps because I was like, hmm, I wonder how much muscle mass I've lost. My biceps, when I was 218 pounds, both arms were. Pushing 19 inches around. I was at 18 inches around on my biceps. Both of them. 18 and a half inches around. I measured myself today. <clears throat> Mind you, I'm not 215 anymore. I am now currently sitting at 185. My biceps are at baseline. Back to where I originally started. Before even, even thinking about bodybuilding or anything like that. I'm at 15, 15 and a half inches without a pump. Yeah. That is how much size I had lost on just my arms my arms were 18 18 and a half inches yeah it's sad uh, I was also 215 uh, I was 205 on performance enhancing anything. I don't ever, I am open about it, but I don't ever disclose what I take because of the younger generation. I won't disclose anything that I take because I don't want the younger generation thinking that I want to look like him. I want to do this. I want to do that. Um, so I won't share what I have taken or do take or am going to take. Um, but when I was weighing 215, well, I was weighing 205 while on, when I came off, um, <clears throat> just to kind of have like a complete reboot um, for three months, I, uh, that's when I gained more weight, uh, kind of probably because it was a reset and something my body needed, but I, uh, fucking Siri popped up. 
uh, but I had uh, stopped working out also for close to a year with me stop stopping working out for close to a year and also not continuing the on and off cycles of the on and off cycles of my performance enhancement I lost it all I didn't lose it all because muscle memory does come back and more than likely I can gain that muscle mass back at least most of it without anything because my muscles will be like all right I've been here before and now we're working out again and I just gotta yeah coming from a person that grew up being bullied because of his size yeah I do got uh, some body dysmorphia issues I do I was looking at myself in the mirror at 215 pounds and I other people were like Jesus Christ this dude's fucking massive and I would look at myself in the mirror and be like uh, I'm fucking skinny bitch dude <clears throat> I'm not big at all I need to get bigger um yeah that is uh that is the cause of uh being made fun of your entire life for being small you kinda sit there and you rewire your brain to think all right, what do these people want me to become? Mind you, I was 98 pounds my freshman year of high school. Nobody bullied me in high school. Nobody made fun of me in high school. At least not in front of my face. Um, <clears throat> but yeah. Uh, I got to make a change. I even told my wife that. I was like, Yeah, I'm uh, going back on cycle because I'm not happy. Uh, I, I, it's not gonna be a big one, and uh, that mean that just means I gotta keep up with my blood work again. So yeah, that is a little update of me. Just not really being happy. Um, it's not even not being happy of where I'm at in life. It's just not really being happy of... I don't want to be working in construction for the rest of my life. I like entertaining people. Um, it's something that I've wanted to do since I was... Probably since before even YouTube even started fucking paying people. I just never really had the balls to pick up a camera until a year and a half ago, two, three years ago. I never really stayed consistent. This year is probably the first year that I've actually been consistent because I was like, I need to make a change if I'm not happy with what I'm fucking doing. And I'd rather be making videos for y'all and entertaining people. I need to make a change. I do a lot of shit in my life rather than doing my own job, which is construction. So, yeah. The uh, depression has been a fucking roller coaster. this past like year I guess you can say it's just been an up and down up and down and sometimes it'll even last for fucking a month and we're just like dude 
I don't even know what to do anymore. I'm not fucking happy. I love where I work. I love the people I work with. I'm just not happy on what I do. I didn't go to fucking college. So it's not like I can get behind a fucking desk. But then I'm going to hate that shit too. Because it's not me doing what I love to do. I love being outside. I love being, I love hunting. I love fishing. I love working out. I love the fucking gym. It's just, when you're going through this constant loop of what the fuck, and you're going through this constant loop of depression, you don't want to fucking do shit. You don't want to do anything. So, yeah, that's pretty much where I stand. And I gotta make a change. So, I'm gonna be posting more and more fucking videos. Whether or not TikTok or YouTube wants to push my shit, I'm gonna be pushing this shit. So, yeah. Be prepared because there's gonna be a whole lot changing. I wanna retire from this fucking construction shit early. And I wanna keep other people happy. I want to make other people happy and I want to make videos to help other people that struggle with the same shit that I do or that love the same shit that I do. So here's to that. I'm going to get a workout in. Uh, this is like, this is literally my second drink of today. Usually I have like four of these things today, but I've uh, decided to cut down. So here's to everything and thank y'all for the follows cheers